Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on MX Tutorials. Well, today we're going to be modeling something cool. We're going to be creating a spiral staircase. You know, the ones you see in lighthouses and so forth. That's what we're going to do. So let's jump in. Here we go. Right, guys, let's get started. So we're going to start with our first uh, step. We're going to take a uh, polygon cube. Let's hit R and stretch that out. Uh, let's stretch it out in this direction as well. Make it a bit thinner. There you go. We're going to right click at a vertex. We're going to drag select these. We're going to push that in to get this uh, shape. Kind of looks okay. We're going to go in and take the bottom and get rid of that. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to go into insert uh, edge loop mesh. Let's do four. And let's uh, put in four right here. And then let's see, we'll go in and set it to two. And we'll do two there, okay? Q on a keyboard. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, we're gonna right click get a face. And I'm gonna take these faces right here. Control E to extrude. Let's tweak that offset a little bit to something like this. We're gonna hit G to repeat. We're gonna hit W to push down. G to repeat and tweak that offset a bit more. Going the wrong way, yeah, there you go. That's a bit better, yeah. Hit the G to repeat again, and W to push that up again, okay? And then we're gonna hit delete to delete those faces. Just so we have a little bit more detail going on, okay? Now, let's see what else we can do here. We can uh, go in, of course, and bevel those edges if we like, you don't have to. But what's more important is we need to go in here and take this face, uh, we're gonna hit, uh, Control E to extrude, we'll hit W to pull that out, like so. And then we're gonna use that for our rail, take that face. Control E to extrude, W to push up to uh, about there. And then let's see, we'll uh, go in, enter the edge loop and we'll set it to manual setting. And we'll go in and we'll put one in there like that and let's see if there's anything we need to tweak here just to add some detail we'll add one there and one there q on your keyboard we're going to right click get a face take that face row all the way around Control e to extrude let's do the offset bring it in a bit and then hit r and pull that in a bit which will give us that okay all right, now one more thing we can do is go to our top view and we're gonna go into vertex and we're gonna drag click these two, hit W and slightly push them out like so. All right, okay, so we have that. Now, what is a little trick of the trade is you need to have stairs that are suitable for humans to walk on, right? So how tall is a human? Well, if you don't have a character of a human available, there's a neat trick. You take a polygon sphere, and it doesn't really matter how big that is to start with. And what you're going to do is you're going to go in. Come on, we'll go in, yeah. And we're going to control D to duplicate it. We'll hit W to move it up. So we're now at two spheres. And we're going to hit Shift D. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight spheres high equals eight head heights, all right? So if you have, a, let's say, a superhero type uh, deal, they're typically eight to even nine heads tall. A normal human being would be, a male would be about seven and a half, let's say, to eight maximum, and a female maybe, you know, seven in average, okay? So we're just gonna use this as kind of a human reference if you don't have a, uh, a model available of a character. Let's just, uh, come on, not playing tricks here yet. Let's go to mesh and uh, combine. So we'll call that our human for now, okay? So looking at the stairs here, we're gonna scale this up a little bit and we're gonna put it on that step. And what I want to go for here is to have an understanding of, okay, where are the knees, where are the arms, and so forth. So if this is our human being, then this is the head, these are the shoulders, the arm come down to about here, 
So this is an appropriate height for a railing. Okay, that's kind of what I was going for. So I'm just going to hit H to hide this guy. And this is what we have so far. And we're going to tweak this a little bit. We're going to go in here. And we're going to right click at a vertex. And we're going to take these two. And we're going to pull them up like this. All right. Now, then what you're going to do is you're going to go in and we're going to take this object here. Actually, make sure we've got these faces deleted. So let's delete one here and go in and delete one here. And there you go. So we're going to take this guy in object mode. We're going to go in here and we're going to move it away from the center of our grid. Now we're going to set this up in a way that this is going to be a spiral staircase in, let's say, a lighthouse. And in that situation, when you walk into the lighthouse, you can look straight up and see all the stairs winding around the wall. Now, there are two methods of doing this. One is where all these steps are fixed to a center column here, which is functional, but not really cool. The other one is to have these connected to the outside wall, right? So you have this opening in the middle and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to hit the insert key to move my pivot point. I'm going to pull that over here and I'm going to hold down X to snap it to the center like so. And then that thing will be hugging our outside wall. We're going to hit the insert key again. I'm going to hit control D to duplicate it. I'm going to hit E to rotate it. Hold down J and snap it 15 degrees, which is one step. And then we're going to hit W and we're going to pull this up a bit. Now, based on what we were just looking at, our human, uh, this is about the right height, so that's okay. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to hit Shift D and we're going to work our way up. And kind of depending on how high your uh, lighthouse is or whatever situation you're creating, you can go up like that, okay? Now I'm going to do a few more times because I want to end up perfectly at 90 degrees like this. And there you have your spiral stairs. Now, if you want that handrail to be uh, connected, what you can do here is uh, drag select this, go to uh, mesh and combine. And then you can go in here and I kind of estimated that angle, but we'll see if it will work out for us. We'll go and double click on this edge and shift double click on this edge and we're going to go to edit mesh and bridge option box uh, smooth path and curve and let's do three divisions and a bridge okay now we seem to have some sort of weird twist going on here I'm not sure why and that has been going on for a while actually so I'm not quite sure what the deal is there Even with twist at zero, it's looking like this. So let me just go back and fix that. If you know what that problem is, please let me know. I would want to know. So what we'll do instead is we'll go to, uh, let's see, edit mesh bridge option box, and we'll just do a linear path, right? And let's try that. And even then I got a twist. Okay, let's call that creator for now, and hopefully somebody will tell me what that is. And uh, we'll just uh, keep on going here. So double click on this guy, and we're going to shift to double click on. We're going to close up those ends. So we're going to go to uh, fill hole. There you go. And we'll do the same down here. Hit the G to repeat. And there you go. And then the way your wall would be set up is you would have, uh, first of all, you would have a platform where you would end up here, but you would have a uh, polygon cylinder. And I'm just going to scale that up and uh, pull that up. We're going to hit uh, Control A to open up the attribute editor. We're going to set the caps to zero. 
So we can go in and delete those. Get rid of one and two. And actually, I should have increased the number of sections to make it nice and smooth. But that's a, a fine, I guess. So we're going to go in here, knit four, and we are going to adjust the height. So I'm going to go to vertex, drag select, W to pull up to about there. And we'll push this up here, like so. And then we can go in and hit par and scale it out until our stairs are fitting. Like this. And we're going to right click at a vertex and push this down. Now, you'd probably think, well, hey, a lighthouse is tapered, right? But what we're going to do here is we're going to right click, go to object mode. Control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.1 on the thickness. And then you would have your stairs in your center column and you can look up like that as you would typically do. But how do you get that tapered model? Well, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go into the bottom and you're gonna right click, go to edge and you're gonna double click on that outer edge and you're gonna hit R and you're gonna scale it out. So how does that work? Well, the idea here is that because the structure is so tall, um, the weight on the bottom layers of brick is um, so much that it would crumble. So like you see in castles and so forth, uh, down here, the walls are very, very thick. And as they go up, they are less thick. That's what gives you that shape. And that's how you get a stair looking like that, okay? So uh, that's uh, basically it for this video. Uh, be creative with that. If you know what's causing my uh, bridge uh, trouble, please let me know. I would love to find out. And uh, that said, thank you guys for watching as always and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.